you guys? Welcome back to my channel. So we're here today with the new winner of Miss North and Nude Alberta, Miss Dremel. Hey! <laughs> awesome! So how did you choose your stripper name? Well, my name was actually given to me probably 15 years ago when I started DJing. Mm. So I had it as my DJ name and then I got into performing and dancing and I don't know, when people ask me what my stripper name is going to be, it's like, well, I'm just trouble. I've always been trouble, so I don't need a new name for all the cool stuff I do. Yeah, <laughs> I love it. It suits you well. Thank you. <laughs> so how long have you been dancing for? I've been dancing exotically for four years now. Nice. And you're also like a performer, right? You've been a performer for a long time? I've been performing since I was three years old. Yeah. yeah. I was a, a figure skater, a gymnast, a power cheerleader. I started running my own circus out of Kelowna, Cosmic Commotion. Yes. Um, so we've been performing that for the last 10 years or so. So lots of festivals and fundraisers. Yeah. She does everything. Fire, hoop, toy, like you do a bit of everything. Yeah. Yeah, it's amazing. <laughs> so what were you doing before you were a stripper? I was raising my two children. I had just had in the last few years. My daughter's 10 and my son's 12. So um, working really hard. Lots of different jobs trying to make ends meet. And mm -hmm. I started the circus. So that kind of was my, my gateway into um, stripping. Because one, uh, one of the managers saw me performing at a tattoo convention and got me to go on stage and it stuck. I had so much fun and people were actually tipping me for my hard work, which was really nice. Yes, <laughs> yeah, 100%. <laughs> so what made you want to dance? Uh, I think at the time it was just an added bonus to what I already loved doing. Like, I love performing, I love being on stage, I've always been a show-off, so um, I think that all of that mixed with being financially stable as well was a huge push. Yeah. You know, I had my first week and I made some money that I, and I just never turned back because I was finally feeling appreciated for my hard work. Yeah, 100%. <laughs> Where is your favorite club to work? My favorite club, I have to say, is Diamonds. I love mm -hmm. being there. I love the customer base. I like the setup. The, the staff is just super friendly. Like even this weekend with the competition, they were just like top-notch people that work with. Mm -hmm. And um, big stage. Yeah, and I the management. It. I mean, I love Bear and Marty. Yeah, so, uh, great yeah. people. They make yeah. me feel at home. So, That's yeah. good. Yeah, I love it. So do you rather wear a bikini or lingerie on the floor? I would have to say depending on the mood, but usually lingerie. I think it just having like the, all the extra pieces and uh, it's like a lingerie slash still costumey. Mm, yeah. <laughs> I always have some kind of character. So. Yeah, you have some really <laughs> nice outfits. Thank you. <laughs> so do you rather wear shoes or boots? I'm all about the boots. Yes. I love thigh highs. I love the way they make me feel. Mm -hmm. um, and then also just for being on stage, I can't really like yeah. do too many tricks and stuff with just the floppy shoes. So. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and it saves your knees. It saves your knees. You can hide the knee pads underneath there. Yeah. Yeah. So um, can you share a funny story with us? Something funny. Something funny. Mm -hmm. um, well, my friends and I got a guy into the back room for lap dances because he had a very unique woo at the front stage. He was like, woo, woo, woo. And so my girlfriend was like, woo, woo. And the next thing I was like, we should go for a dance. And then he bought her out. And then I came over and they were wooing. And I was like, woo, woo, woo. And then he's like, yeah, it's your cool. You should join us too. And then our third girlfriend came and then she joined in. And then the back room were all literally like howling like crazy wolves. And I will never forget that. I love that. I love moments like that. I'll remember, yeah. I remember to a guy who took in the back room, he was rapping. Like, yeah. it's so fun. Literally, we have so much like, Funny memories, like good yeah. times too. Ridiculous yeah. stories. <laughs> we meet interesting people. Yeah. <laughs> so can you share a cra something crazy that happened in the strip club or? Um, well, just even this last weekend for the competition, um, 
I pretty much lit the whole fire bin, my stage, all my props, everything on fire. <laughs> and they had to use the extinguisher for the first time in 20 years. Oh so my god. That was pretty wild. And so every time I kind of went and like looked at one of my props that I was supposed to be picking up, I was like, all right, we're just going to have to freestyle this whole thing. So, <laughs> you didn't get to use them before. I didn't get to use it. And uh, I don't think it hurt my performance at all. I, I don't think so either. <laughs> Just add a little fire to the fuel. Yeah. Yes, exactly. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so, um, on a last note, why do you love being a stripper? I love being a stripper because I feel that when I'm on stage, I have total freedom of expression. I feel that uh, in the past, just always having to reserve that and be like this lady of grace and do what I feel like you want me to do, you know, and yeah. what you think is appropriate. And then at the strip club, I can do whatever I feel is a true expression of how I'm feeling in that moment, you know, if I'm feeling sexy and exotic, I can like rub my hands and my body and feel hot and awesome, yes. you know? And I think that that and like being sexually liberated was like a big thing that mm -hmm. I felt with dancing. It's about being able to be sensual without always having to go find something sexual. Yeah, 100%. I love that. <laughs> <laughs> so guys, I'm gonna make sure to um, tag all of her information and also her circus page, guys. You guys have to go follow her. Like, not only is she a good performer, she's an amazing human being and so kind. And I love you so much. <laughs> I love you too. I'm so happy you stopped by to see me. I'm so happy too. So grateful. Yeah. I feel like blessed to be in this seat right now. Oh, so, you're so cute. You. <laughs> okay, well, thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you like this video and subscribe to my channel. And also go follow her on all of her platforms. Yay. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>